start with uh, the basics. I mean, how has we been buried than me doing as a band for the last one and a half years? Uh, it's been a crazy little ride. <laughs> um, I mean, one thing we've been really good at over the years is rolling with the punches and, and figuring out how to make things work. So, you know, the second we were presented with COVID and the lockdown and all that, we we made the best of it. We got to work, you know, uh, and, you know, we wrote and recorded Colors too. You know, we did some live Twitch streams that were really cool. Um, we did, I think, four vinyl reissues last year, remix, remaster. So we had a really busy year. It was good. And then uh, now we're on tour, which is crazy. We never thought we would ever get here. So, but uh, things are good. Yeah. How shocking was it to postpone the anniversary tour? And now you are, of course, uh, on the evening beat tour. Yeah, I think this was, I think it got moved like eight times. <laughs> which the, the public only knows about maybe two or three but yeah it was just non-stop you know transitional moving and it was a every band was dealing with it it's nothing nothing uh we can only complain about i think everybody had a stressful year for sure colors too it was announced in november 2020 but when exactly and how were these songs written um well we we wrote yeah, we I mean we wrote it all in 2020. I mean we started. We were on tour in South America in March when the pandemic, like the lockdown started. We literally flew home and then went into lockdown. And I mean we probably started maybe a few months after that. And uh, yeah, once once we get working, it things move pretty quick. And um, we just, just you know over the years through just because of you know how well we work together we just we can make things happen quickly and creatively and it was just it was a good time for us as far as mentally we were we got into a place where we felt very creative and uh yeah i mean i, I hate to say i don't think this record could have been what it is without the pandemic but I, but i truly believe the music the art is better because of you know the stressful life situation we were in. I think I think just in general there's gonna be a lot of good art and music next year or coming from last year. Yeah, do you think the situation affected the songs themselves? Yeah, I think so. I mean I think it it kind of put a lot of things in perspective. Just I mean as far as being in a band, you know, it was the first time that we were kind of faced with the fact that it can go away at any moment, you know, and you know, being a band that's been around 20 years, we were just like, God, we got to really, you know, this is our time. We have to step it up. We have to work. I mean, we always work very hard on what we do, but we're just like, we got to, the sky's the limit. You know, we got, we got to really hunker down and like make the best album that we possibly can. And and that's what we did. We worked insanely hard. It, it mentally, it took over all of us, but um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're very happy with, with how it turned out. And, um, and, and and I think looking back, it's going to be a good uh, kind of capsule for, you know, at least what we were going through at that moment. I think it kind of speaks, um, you know, frustration and, and things and uncertainty and all these things that, you know, as a as a whole, everybody was dealing with, you know. And lyrically, you know, I was kind of treating it as a diary in some sense, uh, just kind of, you know, writing when something hit me and, you know, and. You know, I, tr I tried to kind of like, I wanted to create something, you know, as far as words that, that people could grasp onto and find hope and find, you know, anger that they can relate to or, or just things about our society that, that they may connect with that, that bothers me. And yeah, it was it was all these things that we're just making the best out of a bad situation. And I think in the end, it, it turned out really well. What ties this album to the 2007? colors well i mean a big part of it was like our mindset as a band like i was saying earlier like just the fact that we we were in a place where we've been around for you know the 20 year mark came and we're like holy shit we've been doing this a long time you know we really we don't want to be one of those bands that we, we've already done our best material you know we, we didn't want to be one of these older bands that just when an album comes out it's like oh okay they're writing a new record we know what to expect so we were kind of in this mindset where we were in in 2007 where we just were like fuck it that's go crazy that's that's right you know 
no, no rules, like just be immersed in the music and, and just and use that as fuel to like really help us be creative. And it was more of the mindset than anything. And then, you know, because we had that idea of For the Colors 2 um, album before the pandemic hit. And then when the pandemic hit, it was like, okay, this even more makes sense now because we're, we're in this situation where we just feel like, you know, we have to really overcome a lot and, and show the world that, you know, we still have it. And so all, all those things are kind of what the connecting ties were to why we called it Colors 2. But I mean, musically... We, you know, there's, there's some, there's some ties, you know, we have some like Easter egg things and, you know, there's, there's some, the way the album flows and the mood in certain moments, we kind of wanted it to have a similar thing, but, but at the same time, we didn't want it to be like, we wanted to stand on its own. We wanted it to be its own album. Like you, you don't have to like Colors 1 to like Colors 2 or vice versa. And we, we didn't want that you have to listen to one to get to the other. We just... You know, it's just, uh, you know, us in the moment, you know, trying to channel that that creative energy that we were uh, in desperate need of, honestly, back in 2007. And uh, how did that translate to the recording or how would how did you manage the recordings uh, during the pandemic? Um, well, we wrote er we wrote everything apart from each other, which, you know, luckily we we kind of work in solitude anyway we all individually write and you know most of the time you know the last probably four or five records it's been us kind of working that way but normally we get up a little bit to kind of work on things here and there a few times before we record but yeah this was the first album that we didn't actually see each other until we stepped foot in the studio but we did record all together um yeah it was it was just you know, we, we took all necessary precautions and, you know, we got tested and uh, I, unfortunately, I, I live across the country, so I had to fly in, which is very stressful. But, you know, we had a few situations like that last year, so we were just making the best of it and recording went really well. You know, it's a, it's a, a lot of material. It's an 80 minute record. So it was, you know, we, we had to really be on our game and, you know, Every, when we go in the studio, everything's 100% ready. We, we don't write at all in the studio. So we were, we were insanely prepared, and uh, it went really well. It was good. Yeah, you said you are in, on a tour bus even at the moment, and the evening with tour is going on. Well, in this end, the tours are not yet possible. So uh, could you tell me a bit how is it going in there? It's good. It's weird. Um, for me personally, I'm not very comfortable yet. I mean, it, it's the actual act of playing is very comfortable because I've been doing it forever. You know, I, it, that didn't go away. You know, the second I was on stage, it was just kind of like riding a bike or something. Um, but yeah, the whole big crowds is weird for me because even before this tour, I, I you know, I, I'm i kind of a homebody anyway, you know, with my wife and son. So it was like just being in front of a crowd is weird for me and still is. You know, we're on like, day 17 right now i think and, and yeah i'm still not like completely comfortable doing it um but i don't know we're, we're lucky to be able to be doing it and we're trying to be as safe as we possibly can you know luckily we're the only band on the tour so we're able to like set rules within the clubs and within our group um and we don't have to worry about you know pleasing other bands and stuff like that so we're, we're very shut off right now um which I personally, I kind of like, it. it's kind of nice. It's just like, we're, you know, this solid team and, you know, we're the only time we're really near anyone is when we're on the stage. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's taking, it, it's an adjustment for sure, but it is it's good to play again. But um, I wish I was more confident in, in the state of things, you know, in our country and just, well, you know, with the pandemic in general, but I don't know. It's hard to have hope right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah some days it feels like that. Yeah, yeah. I know. So we're we're just we're taking it day by day. You know, I think every day we play, we're like, okay, we got one more done. That's good. So, because I mean, I think we all learned from last year is that things can change quickly. So, yeah, how challenging was it to put the tour together now, or even in more general sense, how easy or difficult it is at the moment to kind of map your future as a band? Well, yeah, I mean. I mean, as far as planning, it is tough because, I mean, I think every band's dealing with it where, you know, all these tours have been rebooked a thousand times. So, like, 
things are starting to pile up and, and avail, you know, club availability is becoming tough next year. And, you know, cause we're trying to plan. I mean, we always plan normally like a year or so ahead. Um, but it is, it is difficult. We're, you know, luckily we have a good, good agency that deals with the booking and yeah, we're just trying to get it all figured out. You know, we're talking about trying to, you know, we obviously want to do Europe you know, and all this stuff, but it's everything's so up in the air right now. Um, it's tough to like lock down dates and all that when you don't know if it's going to happen. So hopefully as the year progresses, things will get more normal. And uh, I mean, as of now, we don't have anything the rest of the year. So we're just going to spend it. Um, sorry, my battery's low. So uh, we're just going to spend it trying to figure out the next steps, you know. So l luckily we've been doing this so long. We, we, we'll make it work. <laughs> we. We're not surprised by much anymore. <laughs>